Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Welcome everyone. It is so good to have you here today. We have Kelly Dungan in the house and we're excited talking to Kelly today all about our Gold Labor and Delivery Symposium. That's right. It's coming up really soon and you can head over to goldlearning.com right now to get all the details about Kelly's presentation, which is re reimagining self-care for for a profession at a crossroads. Kelly, welcome. It's so good to have you here today at Gold. What a wonderful topic you have for us, but it has a little bit of a shift in it. It's not, I remember when I first started talking to you, you said, this is going to be different, just so you know, Fiona. Um, <laughs> and you were, you were right. You were absolutely right. I was just, uh, I have to say, just so excited when I heard the presentation. So thank you so much for all the detail that you put into it. What inspires you, my friend? What inspires you? Yeah. Well, nurses inspire me. All of the yeah. work that nurses do inspire me. And birth inspires me mm. every day. Mm. And, you know, what's interesting to me is, especially in the context of where we are now with so many people feeling like their work is really hard, right? And so I really right. want to acknowledge that. Um, like for us to find a way forward and for that way forward and dreaming the future to feel really grounded and possible. Right. So part of what I tried to do in my presentation was to emphasize skills that are building blocks for change because mm. people want things to change, um, but I think it really needs to feel concrete, right? So it's like we can yeah. have the big dreams, which, right. which I love to hang out in and be in that kind of visioning space yeah. And then we, we need the skills to back it up, right? How are we going to get there? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, you talk about having the skills. I feel I feel like there were so many tools, uh, takeaway tools from your presentation. Mm -hmm. Um, it really is not an ordinary self-care um, you know, presentation by any means. It really takes everything to a whole new level. This is about it, well, a whole new level of you know care, but this is about going deep into you know how a lot of us are feeling it's very very relatable mm. um and you talk about the hard work that we're doing um it is hard right now there is a real heaviness in a lot of what's happening particularly mm. in labor and delivery on the wards people are feeling stuck people are leaving at an alarming rate yeah. um and you're witnessing this as well correct mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. There's so many, it's such a, it's such a disservice that's happening when we can't, you know, we can't, it's almost like it's a, it is an epidemic of sorts. Mm -hmm. um, how are we going to stop that, Kelly? What is going to, you know, help us retain all of these amazing staff members and nurses in the field? Yeah, I think we need to, we have to go further upstream. Like we can't just say, you know, here's a, here's a pizza party. I mean, that's sort of a, a joke at this point, right? It's oh, like, sure. oh, here's a pizza party, right? Yeah. And so uh, why are people not, why are people having a hard time taking care of their uh, themselves? Why are they not feeling cared for by their organizations? Like we have to take it, we have to go back towards the cause and not just mm. look at the symptoms. Right. So that, that's why I really feel like we have to have a systems lens Right. And, and look at self-care that way and not mm -hmm. just put more on the individual, mm -hmm. but actually look at it more collectively. Why are we having this issue collectively? And then, you know, how can we address it from that perspective? Yeah, absolutely. Tell mm -hmm. me the why, why this topic for you? Why, why are you so connected to this, Kelly? I mean, I know you said you love all the things you love nurses and and birth. I feel like there's a whole different layer to you, you know, <laughs> in your wisdom um, that that I feel like not only does this resonate with you, but somehow you're wired this way. You're very mm -hmm. passionate and compassionate mm -hmm. of wanting to see, uh, you know, uh, see things progress and see see us come out of this, this yeah. sort of oppression of things. Tell mm -hmm. me what's happening in your life that you're you're sort of seeing this. Are you running into staff members? Are you teaching teaching staff as well. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Yeah. Well, I mean, my work, my work right now is primarily in education. I teach, mm. I teach spinning babies workshops and I travel a lot doing that. So I think being able to see 
that it's not just you people think it's maybe it's unique to their hospital or they recognize maybe it's maybe happening at other hospitals but I've been able to have a perspective where I see, like, I actually know before I walk into a workshop, just by how my communication was with their management team setting it up, I already Mm -hmm. know how the staff feels. Mm. I can tell a lot by what the hospital dynamics are and what their culture is. And, And it informs me in terms of how I share information with people, because sometimes I come in and people are ready, they're game, they're already in their power around wanting to create change. And there are other places that I go to where I can see uh, they're in resistance and that Mm -hmm. resistance is coming uh, in in, from a place of like hopelessness, Mm -hmm. right? Or shut down and feeling like nothing's going to change. And so being able to see sort of these, these themes in how people experience their culture. I mean, birth is birth, right? right? So the actual work of supporting someone, I mean, that's, that's ancient, right? So mm. that doesn't change, but yeah. the culture that we're doing it in, you know, that really impacts our experience. And that's what I hear from a lot of people is they're like, you know, the actual work is fine. I love right. it, yeah. but it's every, all the trappings along, along with it you know, the, the sort of, um, yeah, the, the way that that impacts their ability to just do what they want to do, which is care for people. Mm, Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think I'm beginning to understand you even better now. And I'm loving this because I feel like I'm doing a little detective work, but in, (laughs) in your bio, you talk about translating, you know, um, you know, physiological birth principles. Uh-huh. And I think this is the same thing in your presentation that yeah, you're translating, yeah. <laughs> you're translating again in there. Yeah. Um, this is a, this is an amazing skill because, you know, I think that a lot of people are stuck or feeling stuck, you know, not knowing how to shift things. The pizza party mm-hmm. doesn't work anymore. I love that analogy. It really doesn't, you can't appease us mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but the translation of, what can we do next is very, Mm -hmm. very hard. You broke it up. It's quite a raw presentation. I feel in the sense that, you know, you really get down to the the nitty gritty of what's happening. I felt very moved physically. Um, Mm -hmm. And even at one point you said like you can pause um, or not, you know, (laughs) and and move on. So you're very in touch with, you know, how we are, how we are all feeling in healthcare, you know? um, And so I appreciate that. But the translation, you are a bit of an empath, you know, for sure, right? I mean, I think really, I guess maybe, I guess I would identify myself maybe as like a, a transformation junkie. Like I know some people are like, I'm an adrenaline junkie. And it's for me, what's yeah. interesting is transformation, which is yeah. why I work in birth, because yeah. birth is all about transformation, right? Yes. But yes. what I really see, if I want to honor birth and mm-hmm. ask what does birth need, then yeah. what I feel is like birth needs birth workers who, who are like, feel cared for, you know, and who are able to work in their full capacity. So that's where I really want my work to hang out, right. Is in caring for the birth workers so that they can just do what they know how to do. Yeah, absolutely. And I think in your presentation there, there's not a case of where, you know, it's not all about blaming the other person. There is this Um, accountability, you know, Mm -hmm. and, but I think, you know, you, you said it, you know, where we get stuck, you mm-hmm. know, sometimes we we have a plan and, you know, we are all full of this energy that we're going to make it all work. Mm-hmm. And then it seems like it, it's impossible. We can't make it work anymore. Right. Right. Um, I think that's very relatable. You know, that sort of, you know, procrastination and then perfectionism and then paralyzation, I call it, you know, where we just can't get any further. Mm-hmm. Um, this presentation helps, I think, open a lot of that up again. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe that's, that's what I was sensing for us. I think people are going to love it, honestly, uh, yeah. just for that aspect <laughs> of being a professional, working so hard, not always feeling, um, you know, like our work is valued or we don't have the respect that we deserve, mm-hmm. but also wanting to stay in it and, and regain that momentum. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, I think your presentation is going to do that. Good. I hope so. It's really, I think it's just opening the door, honestly, Yeah. because it's yeah. 60 minutes. I mean, in 60 minutes, sure. you know, uh, it, I'm, I'm trying to introduce uh, a way of thinking and then yes. also show that there are tools that can get us there, but to actually practice and utilize right. this, that's lifetime work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I could teach it, but I'm also a student of it always. So yeah. 
No, yeah. for sure. It's a great jumping off point. I mm -hmm. think it's going to be great for individuals. Um, you set it up so it's well, it's well versed. You can use it for yourself. You could take it to your teams, I think. I hope easily. people do. Yes. Yeah, right? Really hope they do. Yeah. Yes. And it and it could be anywhere, but yeah, definitely designed for those who are in labor and delivery and birth work. Absolutely fabulous. Kelly, thank you so much. Yeah, you're thank amazing. you. Yeah, you're amazing at what you do. And of course, I've had a sneak peek already at this presentation. Absolutely fabulous. You're going to love it as well. I know for sure you don't want to miss this. It is going to be um, with our Labor and Delivery Symposium coming out later this year. But check out all the details. Register today. Some great rates happening. And of course, Rebecca Decker is going to be here live and open access so you'll all be able to come and listen to that presentation for absolutely free. So just head over to the website at goldlearning.com to register for that event today. Kelly, thank you so much for being with me here today. It's been lovely chatting with you. Likewise, Fiona. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you again. And to all of our viewers here today, thank you for joining us once again, and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now, everyone.